I'm giving my index finger some fresh air. <laughs> I want for my index finger to breathe. <laughs> to make it feel better. <laughs> for real. Now I'm going to continue with the process of putting on the warp bandage and the regular bandage right on my index finger to continue the removal of this wart forever. But first, I'm going to go ahead and see if I can remove the skin from this wart. Let me see if I can remove it right in front of you. hurts and it itches a lot. As you can see, I'm trying to remove the skin. It hurts and it itches a lot. I was trying to remove the skin right on the top, right around the wart. It hurts a lot and it itches. I'm just gonna go ahead and leave the skin as it is. The wart is right there, right where the fingernail is at. Trying to see if I can remove the skin from top of the wart, but it doesn't. But as you can see, it's right there, right where the fingernail is at. That is the wart, that white spot. That is the head of the wart. Let's go ahead and continue with putting another wart bandage on and a regular bandage on. So let's proceed with this process. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and take the cap off. <laughs> These are the wart bandages. I'm gonna go ahead and take one out. As you can see, this bandage right here was removed that was the one that I just took off. Now I'm gonna wear this bandage. Take it off from the paper once again. These bandages are real sticky. So you have to make sure they don't stick to the bandage itself because because otherwise it will be hard to remove. Right there, right at the corner, you can see that there's a little piece of the bandage already stuck to the bandage. And that is really hard to remove. So you have to just wear it like that or use another bandage. But I'm gonna go ahead and use this one. That circle right there, right on the middle, in that middle part of the circle, that's where the wart head is going to be placed on that middle part is where the medicine is to kill the wart along with the roots so let's put the bandage on i'm going to place the wart right in the middle of the circle just like that now i'm going to stick the ends of the bandages to the skin of my finger It does hurt a little bit, but I'm gonna continue the process. <laughs> now I'm gonna wear one of these regular bandages. I'm gonna wear one of these big size. These are the large size bandages, so I'm gonna go ahead and use one of these. Take the papers off.
And now I'm gonna go ahead and seal the whole wart bandage up. <laughs> now it's cushioned. I have to make sure that the bandages are placed on correctly and right. And make sure they don't fall off. And there you go. And there you go. <laughs> Boom. It does kind of hurt a little bit and it itches, but I'm just going to go ahead and continue with the process. I will continue to give you an update in a day and a half again. Let's see how it goes. And I'm gonna go ahead and come back and take the bandages off right in front of you once again. So you can see the process because you and me are going to see the process of this wart removal forever. Other than that, this is it. See you in a while. <laughs> What's going on guys? It's here Eddie and today it's October the 29th, 2022nd. As you can see, I'm sick. <laughs> you can see it right on my eye, right on my face, the way I talk. This video is not about me being sick. This is about me continuing with the process of the wart removal that is right on my index finger. So I've been with this process for a while and I'm gonna show you, this is what the bandages look like right on my index finger for two days after washing dishes, washing my hands, taking a shower, all this and the bandages are still sticking and I'm gonna show you that next. So, showtime. <laughs> This is what the bandages look like. Well, at least the regular bandage. This is how worn they are after everything that I have done. This is what the bandage looks like. And it's still sticking, as you can see. It's still sticking. These are the regular bandages. Like the top bandage comes from this box right here. 100% <laughs> recommend this bandages. Now I am going to continue with the process of removing the bandages right in front of you to see what my index finger looks like and what the wart looks like. So let's see. <laughs> wow, the whole thing came off. <laughs> Look at what the bandages look like, all worn out. This is the wart bandage and this is the regular bandage. Bam, <laughs> it came off. That's how worn out these bandages are. Look, the part came off. Now I'm gonna show you what my index finger looks like. Are you ready? Showtime. <laughs> This is what the index finger looks like. This is the wart right here. Look how white my index finger looks now. <laughs> That's what the skin looks like from the back of my finger. Look at the way the skin looks. Boom! <laughs> I 
I'm blowing air right on my finger, right on the affected part to make it feel better. <laughs> For real. I'm gonna go ahead and use the phone light. <laughs> that is the way it looks. My index finger has different colors. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm continuing with the process and hopefully soon the wart will be removed forever. Look at this section right here, right around it. it looks pretty bad. But I'm going to continue with the process until the wart is completely removed. Let's continue with the process of putting the wart bandage on and the regular bandage on on <laughs> I'm giving my index finger some fresh air <laughs> I want for my index finger to breathe Let's continue with the process. And these are the wart bandages. This is the little bag where all the wart bandages come in. Let's continue but first, I'm gonna show you all the wart bandages. There's several of them. So let's continue with the wart bandage process. Sometimes it's hard to take off the paper because it looks like the paper wants to come with it. And I don't like that, but now I just took it off. This bandage, it's real sticky. Look at that, real sticky. I have to be very careful. This bandage, it's really sticky from top to bottom. Everything's sticky. So now I'm gonna go ahead and place the head of the wart right in the middle of the circle because that's where the medicine is to kill the wart. I'm gonna go ahead and place the head of the wart right in the middle of the circle. Just like that. And I have to make sure the head of the wart is right in the middle of the circle because that's where the medicine is to kill the wart. Now the other end This is what it looks like. <laughs> now I'm going to continue with a regular bandage. I'm going to put one that it's big enough to cover the whole wart bandage, which means seal it up. Now, <laughs> get one of these. Now I'm gonna go ahead and take the paper off the bandage. and take this papers off the bandage too. Now I'm gonna go ahead and seal the whole ward bandage up.
just like that. My finger looks cushioned now. <laughs> So now, this is the way it looks. I'm gonna continue the process one or two days. I'm gonna come back, give you an update by taking off the bandages right in front of you again. Hopefully soon this wart will be removed forever from my index finger, because this is what I really want. And you're gonna see this with your own eyes. Other than that, see you in a little while. If you have any questions or comments, let me know in the comment box below and I'll do my best to answer you back. If you enjoyed this video and saw value, make sure to smash, smash, smash that like and subscribe button. Make sure to share the video Make sure to like the video, give it a thumbs up, get those likes up. Thank you for your support. Thank you for watching. This is Eddie. See you in the next video. <laughs>